This guy's almost dead. Let's give him a charge. Whoa! Holy shit! I like that. That's slow motion. Ooh. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Lords of the Fallen on PS4. In the last video, we started the whole game, really, by getting a feel for the game, and we killed the first boss, and he died in this room. We fought him off, he had a big giant sword and a big shield. Managed to take him out in one go. So, now we've got this over here. We're gonna go over and inspect out, see what this is. Okay, character development. The experience you earn for defeating the enemies remains with you until you d decide to store it or die. Similar to Dark Souls, I'm gonna keep saying Dark Souls. Um, so, if you die, you drop it and you can pick it up later. If you can get to it in one life. So, the more you carry, the higher the rewards drop from fallen foes. Okay, so it's like magic find, the more experience you have on you, the more chance you are to find better gear. So you can either spend it and get better upgrades for yourself, upgrade yourself, or have a better chance to find better upgrades. So still, if you don't want to lose what you currently have, blank bank it in the save shard like this one. It prevents the loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier, so it's a trade-off. Storing the experience that save shards gets you, get you attribute and spell points, hold either L2 to store experience towards spells or R2 to store it towards attributes. You can do it by opening the character development screen while close to the save shard. Okay. So we can open this, and right here we have got, these are our attributes, that's the spells that we can learn. It looks like there's four spells and there's three, three ranks for each one. Okay, so we are actually brawling. We're not solace or deception. I guess we could still learn them if we really wanted to. Alright guys, so with these um, brawling abilities, you can see on the right hand side it says faith requirement to actually use that. So I need 8 faith to do that one, 12 for that one, and as you go up the ranks you're going to need more and more faith as you unlock it. So faith is your magic. If we go to um, attributes, you can see we've got 8 faith. And strength is our damage dealing stat, vitality is health, faith is your magic, endurance is your energy, so when you swing you can swing more or sprint more if you've got more endurance. Agility is used for light weapons, which is not um, what is which is not what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using heavy, big, heavy swords, hammers, and all stuff like that. And then you gotta look for the chance to drop better items. So these are the brawling abilities. We've got prayer. And that will make a decoy of ourselves so the enemies will attack that so we can attack the enemy without getting attacked ourselves. And also, because we're brawling, we will heal over time while using that. So then we've got Rage, a surrounding force that gives more damage, attack power and removes energy restrictions. So it's just a damage booster for me. And Ram, a powerful charge force that apart from damaging can stagger or knock down the enemies. So it's like a knockdown. Quake, the most powerful ally coming... Your most powerful ally coming down to help you and slam your enemies with a giant hammer, wrecking havoc. So that's just a big hit. So you got big hit, knockdown, buff, um, and decoy. I kind of want to use Quake as soon as possible. <laughs> that looks like a beast of ability. So I'm going to actually not spend any points in this just yet, maybe. I'm going to save him for him. Um, Quake. <laughs> So just to get a, gen a good start, I'm going to put some points in strength, just because that's our main um, damage dealing stat. So we put, put a stat in there, there we go. How much experience have we got? We've got 1490. I guess if you really want to as well, you can grind our experience by killing the same monsters over and over again. I'm going to try and boost my faith a bit, get as close to 15 as possible. Can I put more on that? I have more than one in there, that's good. Any more? No, I need more experience for that. So let's put some points in faith. Let's just do a point in the top three. No, I need endurance as well. So the ones I'm going to kind of avoid or look in agility, I definitely avoid agility. Maybe put a few in the look. I think before you start worrying about um, carrying as much um, experience as possible to increase your drop modifier, you should really just focus on your stats. Because later on in the game, I'm sure you'll have that many points put in stats that you can carry a lot of experience to get the better gear. So we've got some enemies here. Who what was that? I just didn't even see that. Okay, this looks like a slow swinging weapon. Whoa! I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. He's eating my face. What the frig? This, that's a very slow swinging weapon. This. Let me try with the R2. That's so slow. I'm not. I'm not using that weapon. I'm switching it. I'm gonna switch back to the steel sword that we started with, because it seems to be the, one of the best damaging ones, and also it's quite fast for the amount of damage it deals. 
All right, so we're. I think we're heading downstairs. I think we're looking for the guy who got blown out the door. You know, when that last boss in the last video, before seeing the boss, he threw the guy that we was with us out the door. So we got a guy here. See if we can stealth up to this guy. Doesn't. No. Nope, no. Nope, we can't. Wait. Let's get this guy a few hits. Let's try and block his attacks. Can we get behind him? Oh no. Nope. Almost. Whoa. It's a heavy hit. There we go. We got behind him. That's a very damage dealing ability right there. One more hit. He's down. There we go. So you get experience for each kill as well. Each kill you do without dying, you um, get more experience next time you kill an enemy. So you, you multiply on experience gains in stacks as long as you don't die. It needs health potions actually. <laughs> Just noticed I've used them all. I used them all in that boss fight. I had a few messy um, bits. Alright, what's this? We got a chest we can open. That's good. And what is this? A monk staff. That's not very good, to, useful for what I'm, how I'm playing. I'm going to avoid them scrolls because they just talk. And I, I don't care too much about the backstory. I don't think this game is about story. It's about... It's an RPG. You're, you're developing your character. Look how many scrolls there are. If I would have listened to that one, I would have to listen to this one as well. And there's just too many. So there's a chest behind these guys on the left hand side. Let's let's rush one of them. Let's do a big... Ah, shit, he hit me. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, just He actually hit me again as well then. They're both down. Alright, there's a chest here. Wonder if there's a heal ability you can get. Oh, there we go, what have we got here? Cleric armor. Um it's medium, so I guess we could roll faster if we equip that. But just gonna keep I like the way I'm playing so far, so I'm gonna keep what I've got equipped. Alright, so we've got another experience spending station here. I wonder if we increase our Oh shit, what? You can refill your potions if you press triangle on it. I didn't know that. That's good. All right, that's cool. I like that. Oh, actually, I can refill my health as well. I think I'm going to spend some points if I've got any. Yeah, we can spend another one on attributes. Let's get that faith up, eh? Let's get that faith. All right, so we're getting. We've got four more points to get to the faith to 15. I feel like I'm going to race to that just to get that ability, that quake ability, the, the highest strength ability, straight off the bat. You know. I feel like it might give us a good advantage. <laughs> we don't actually have any magic abilities at the moment though, because we're focusing on that. I don't even know if that's a good idea. It might be a stupid idea. I like I fell right into that trap, didn't he? Alright, we got another one there on the left. Looks like we've got a guy at the back as well, on the right somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we've got a big knight guy. Anyone else? Any more enemies on the sides? Doesn't look like so. We can take this guy out on our own. There we go. Let's get him back. Yeah, boy. Take it in the face. Give him a heavy attack as well. Yeah. Block. Oof. This guy's almost dead. Let's give him a charge. Whoa. Holy shit. I like that. That's slow motion. Ooh. I think people are calling this game as well because it's similar to Dark Souls, but these people say it's a lot easier than Dark Souls. It's more forgiving and the fights are easier to take on. I mean, I remember playing Dark Souls and fighting a guy that looks like this, like a knight. Oh my god, they're so hard to kill. Like right here, I'm kind of not steamrolling through them, but a lot easier than what it is on Dark Souls. Oh, chopped his penis off first there. A few different camera angles there, that's weird. There we go. I quite like that ability, that combo right there. Oh, what's this? We've got a switch. Where you do like a heavy attack and then a light one straight after it. It's very... Very damage dealing game um, combo. So what did we, we just pull the lever? That that didn't actually show us what it did, did it? I think there's a gate in the middle. Let's open the gate. No, um, it still is on this side. I think we have to pull a get lever on both sides to open the gate. It kind of looks like that's what that's what we need to do. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's dodging. Dodging like a mofo, and he's he's likes to strafe as well. He's got a shield, but he doesn't block very well. Nice. Let's do that again. Whoa, slow mo. 
I like that. That's so cool. <gasps> Look at he's he died, he died standing up. With such um, etiquette. Is it etiquette? No, it's not, is it? That's not the word I'm looking for. Alright, screw it. Oh, we got to leave on this side as well. I wonder if you can go to that thing up there and heal yourself as many times as you want. I I, I feel like it might respawn the enemies though if you did that. To be, to be honest, who's this guy? You help me, please. What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. Well, that's your fault. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You'll see the judges soon, then. I can't. I won't. I'll do it. It's in your hands. It's in your... I'll do it or I won't do it. Um, I kind of, like, proposed the idea, so I guess I should um, go through with it. All right. <laughs> On your head be it. What's with the acrobatic skill before he does it showing off? Like, is it that guy's gonna be impressed? Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. Um, how do I get into the citadel? I need to get inside the main building. I'm looking for Antanas. Antanas is in the Citadel. But the gates had been sealed as soon as the Rogar started swarming in. It's now impossible to get inside. And even if you would, I don't know if you'd find anyone alive inside. The sky rained fire and something has crashed into the tower. I think the Square of the Judges is the only possible way to enter the Citadel. If it hasn't been already destroyed, Maybe you'll find a passage there. How do I get... Haven't I asked that question? I'm gonna leave. Wait. Please. Tell me you have a potion. I do. Why is she... I just... Do I gain anything from healing him? Let's give him a potion. Yeah. Take this one. I think I can spare one. I don't think I did actually give it to him though. I've still got two on the bottom left and I only ever had two. Did I have three? I don't even remember. Alright, so we're going down straight ahead, I think. I was going to see if there's a map there for some reason. There's not. There's doors to the side. Should we, should we explore before we go? Oh, okay. Oh, these are the spiders that the guy got the venom from. Okay. So let's take out these spiders, I guess. Let's drop down the side. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay, I kind of bypassed them then. I don't think I need to. <laughs> Let's just go this side. What's down here? Okay, looks like we're going underneath where we actually want to be. Let's just go across and see what happens. Okay, there's a guy getting up there. Whoa! Dirty bastard. Someone's shooting something there as well. He's got a bow. Like a demon hunter. That's easy to block, come on. Is he really going to roll somewhere by going into that wall? Is he still damaging me with those shots? Can't really tell. Anybody here? Anybody here? Alright, we've got a gate there. Can we open the gate? Doesn't look like we can. There's a doorway down here. Oh, fuck! Good job I had my shield up then. Fighting stances have different movesets. Uh, I can't really read that while I'm fighting. Oh, look at that. Got you, bitch. <gasps> that hurt him a lot. Oh, get shrekt. So, what's this in the corner? Some kind of chest. Uh, is that locked? I think that's locked. With this door, it's locked. Everything's locked. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, friend. It's a nice, easy way to kill them, guys. They kind of like the equivalent to skeletons that you get in Dark Souls. Alright, what's up here? 
Oh, there's a knight over there. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. We keep going through random doors. Let's just get his attention on. We'll take him on. Do the usual tactic. And I'm gonna give him a heavy shot here. Throw up a light one. See if we can take him out. Oh, oh almost. That was a risk. Didn't pay off. Yeah, it's a long strike. Um, what was he looking at down here? Main wall. Um, oh, he dropped something. He dropped something. First enemy I've seen drop something. I think every, every single drop looks like that. Runes. Magical runes are very mysterious. Before you can use them for crafting, someone needs to help you by breaking their protective seal. But wait, there might be a use for a sealed rune too. Tip. You will be able to craft those weapon shields and armors you have to have special rune slots. I don't really understand what that means. Let's go this way. Main wall. There's a gap at the end there. Can we go back a bit? Oh, that's the gate that we had before. Let's open it so we can. Maybe, maybe we need, might need to run back, I don't know. Or if we die, maybe we can run through and get through quicker. Take a shortcut. What's this in the ground? Oh, cutscene. What the hell is that? Dragon's head. What? Mysterious gauntlet. Is that a new weapon? Oh, fuck. Oh, that told me what it was and I pressed X as soon as it came on. Is it a weapon? What the, what is this? Oh, fuck. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, oh, uh, 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 oh, he shot me in the back. How do I get my shield back? I don't want to use this just yet. Ow. Ah, okay, shield's back. Triangle. Okay, let's get the shield out. There we go, we can block shit now. As if one was oh, no. Uh, let's fall back with this guy, I think. Let's take him into the, uh, the room that we just opened. Hopefully the door's right behind me. Where's the door? There it is. Nice. Right, let's take this guy out. Give him a slash. There we go. Now a heavy strike as well. Boom. Ta-da. That's, that's the... Oh, he dropped something. We've got energy shot. There's a lot of items I don't have a clue what they are. Energy shot. I guess it gives you energy. Similar to, like, health. Shit would give you health. It gives you... Just charge this guy down. Just block all of his stuff. Right, I just that thing I just picked up. I'm gonna try that. See if I can shoot this guy with it. Oh god, there's another guy up here. Actually, let's just shoot him. Nice. He uses magic. Okay. Take this guy out. All right, did anyone drop anything here? Doesn't look like. So, are we going this? It looks like it's all broken apart. Oh, hang on, there's a path down here. Right, we can go underneath. There's a big knight. Let's take this guy on. Whoop. I guess when. I think my ma mana regens. Which is pretty cool. So I can switch that weapon every now and again. Like so. And give him a blast. Here we go. Can you give him another one? No, we need more mana. Not enough magic, it says. Smash! I actually really like the combat in this. It's a bit quicker. I never played Dark Souls 2, but I played Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls. and de It feels quicker than what those games were like. I think Dark Souls 2 was actually quicker as well. Lethal Secret Short Sword. Am I using a short sword right now? It looks like a short sword. <laughs> that could be a better weapon to use. Where am I going? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Fuck. Run up. Get up. Run up. Run away. I don't want to fight that. I'm not ready for that shit. Is he coming upstairs? Use a health potion. Can I take that on? Let's try the end of the thing I got. Can you aim it better? That was a bad shot. Fuck. 
Okay, it's hard. I'm not gonna take this guy on. No way am I killing this guy. <gasps> I'm dying. I'm dead. Right, lesson learned. Uh, don't fight big spiders, because they poison you and you die. Oh my god, I'm back here. Oh my god. I'm a ghost. So yeah, it's similar. To, it's very similar to Dark Souls. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay, guys, I'm just picking up my experience and the spiders here. And there's another guy as well. So I'm just gonna get all my shit and then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so we've got shit. We might kill that guy if he gets close. Oh, there's, an exp there's a save point there. Good, good, good. Right, let's kill this guy. Okay, so I have to fight my way through everything I just already killed. Similar to all the same ways you do with. Oh, spiders there, spiders there. Oh, God. Let's get away, let's get away, let's get away. Oh, God. Can we can we use this save point and just, like, do something? Oh, cutscene. Where is it? Where is what? Shit. Back off. This doesn't concern you. Um, who's the guy? Don't drop him. Oh, God. This thing's attacking me. Can I die? Can I die here? You won't get an answer from a dead man. Seems it's your lucky day, altar boy. I don't know who the guy is. They've got spiders on me as well. They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. The pathway? A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. I'm really concerned about the spiders behind me. <laughs> if I end this conversation, they're gonna kill me. I don't really need to have these conversations. I must go. Yeah, I must Do go yourself. and take care of these spiders. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm so dead. There's a little baby one. Can we kill the baby one? What's he doing? Here we go. Kill it. Kill it. Right, okay. I may talk to her again now. I just picked someone up as well. So it looks like the big thing actually didn't didn't fall me. So I think this is a save point. We stuck on our health and potions. We've only got one potion because we gave one to that guy, which is... I think I shouldn't have done that. Alright guys, thanks for watching, that's all we've got time for for this video. We're still looking for Kanslo, the guy that I think we started with. And uh, we've got a save point here, so we're going to end it and hopefully not die too much in the next one. So thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.